G'day trendsetters, John with Gravel Cyclist. I'm coming to you today with a very special wheel review, namely a pair of Envy G23 rims laced to Bird, that's spelled B-E-R-D, spokes. Bird spokes are manufactured from a polylight material that is significantly lighter than any steel spoke available on the market today. Bird spokes do not call for modifications to hubs in any way. They are compatible with standard hubs in all facets. Additionally, they are maintained in the same way you would expect with a traditional spoke and nipple connection. Bird polylight spokes also claim to significantly dampen road vibrations, which in turn leads to less fatigue on the rider. Additionally, bird spokes do not suffer the same fatigue of metal spokes due to the endless cycle of load and unload that happens during a wheel's life. These spokes are designed to take abuse. They are impervious to UV exposure, moisture, and general wear and tear. In case you were wondering, these spokes are also available in black via the Envy and Bird partnership. Considering how light these wheels feel in the hand, I think it's time to weigh them. And here we go onto the grand scale with the rear wheel, and that includes a rim strip and valve. 666 grams. That is insanely light for a rear wheel. Let's weigh the front and the front wheel. comes in at 560 grams and that makes for a total of 1226 grams including valves and rim strip that is insane for a pair of wheels designed for this sort of cycling for tires i'm going to mount up a set of vittoria terreno dry in 700 c by 40 millimeter so I've mounted the uh, tire and I've got my trusty Topeak Joe Blow Booster pump with its secondary cylinder inflated to 120 psi. I've taken the liberty of removing the valve. That'll make the initial inflation easier so the tire will pop onto the rim. Okay, it's ready to go. Fingers crossed when I release the pressure, it will inflate first time and snap into the bead. It needs a little bit more air to pop into the bead, but it has inflated, no worries at all. There you go, you heard the popping sound. That was a super easy tire to mount. Next, I will um, install sealant and the valve core, and this wheel and tire combination is almost ready to roll. With the tires mounted, I'm going to add some orange seal endurance formula sealant and hopefully not spill it everywhere i'm adding two ounces or 56 mils if you prefer the metric nomenclature screw the valve core back in because this tire is has snapped into the bead no worries at all. This time I'm using my Bontrager TLR flash charger pump and chuck is snapped on. No worries. The wheel's holding close to 40 psi. So all I have to do next is the shake and bake, make sure the sealant is evenly distributed and repeat the process for the rear wheel. There you go, that's the shake and bake. And if ever you have a troublesome tire, what you do is you get, say, a bucket, lay the wheel flat, let it sit for about 10 minutes, flip it over, do the shake and bake again, then flip it over the other side, lay it on top of the bucket, and hypothetically, you should be okay. This uh, wheel and tire combination appear to be pretty good. 
So how do the Bird NV wheels ride? The first thing you notice immediately is how fast these wheels accelerate. They are 200 to 300 grams lighter than the average carbon wheel designed for gravel use on the market, but they are proven to be strong and durable. This is another spoke technology that claims to help with vibration damping, and whilst I have no way of testing these claims, this pair of wheels did seem to take some of the bite out of hits from potholes or general buzz from gravel road surfaces. The placebo effect has been proven to be a real thing, so if you feel fast and more comfy riding on these wheels, that would count as a massive positive. To test the impact durability of these wheels, I installed them onto the 3T Explorer review bike and raced them at the 2019 Prisgar Monster Cross race shod with WTB's Resolute tyres in 700C by 42mm. This race features a ton of gnarly descents that favoured MTBs or those with good skills on drop bar gravel bikes. I fared quite well on the descents and paid no heed to the wheels during the race. Right there they should tell you these wheels are good. Sure, I picked my lines carefully, but descending in the forests of North Carolina is not a smooth experience, but the Bird MV combination was rock solid and straight as an arrow post race. The thickness of these spokes at the middle is on par with your average double butted steel spoke, but the butted ends are a little bigger. I have no way of proving if there is some kind of aerodynamic disadvantage, but when you consider the average gravel tyres measure 35mm to 42mm and cut through the air like a Volkswagen bus, aero losses over these spokes are insignificant. Pardon the wind noise in this clip, but this should give you an idea of how smooth these wheels ride, even if I am on pavement. Moving on, I ran the wheels on many training rides and bikes, including the Cervelo Espero, a bike I reviewed earlier on the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel. Suffice to say, these wheels are the perfect match for a high performance gravel bike and thus won't be for everybody. They are stiff with no perceived flex and have remained true for the duration of this long term review. Concerns I have are long term durability over a year of hard use and what happens if you break a spoke. Spokes aren't available at your local bike shop so ordering an extra spoke or two would be a good idea. I have no idea of Bird's spoke tension but historically spokes built with envy rims are tensioned on the high side. The internal nipples could be a deal breaker for some. With that said, I've never had any trouble with any and all envy wheel sips I have ever ridden and these wheels are very well built. The final concern is the price, which at US $2,750 is hardly a deal. However, performance costs, and if you want arguably the highest quality pair of performance oriented, insanely light wheels with excellent warranty and support from Envy, the Bird Envy wheel set is very worthy of your consideration. I do not want to return these wheels, they really are an unfair advantage, and I need every bit of help I can get. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel and don't forget to click the bell button to be notified of future videos as they appear on their channel. I'll see you in the next video.